how's it going? So uh, I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about the data collection that we do in Formula Drift. We use the AIM Solo 2 DL. And for our example here and why data is important, I wanted to show you some examples from uh, Travis Reader's car. It's running on a Link ECU. And I didn't really want to get too much into the drifting or any of the actual like engine tuning stuff, but just some basic cool stuff you can learn and verify like basically your vehicle health. Here we have uh, oil pressure of lateral acceleration. So if it's in a left hand turn or right hand turn, you can see if you have oiling issues based on how the oil pressure drops off. This is a pretty tight range here, so it looks like it's pretty good. Then the coloring is uh, throttle. So once you're on throttle, it's red. So you can see once he's in throttle up here, it has good oil pressure. Here he's pulling one G to the side, but this looks pretty healthy on this. So there's a whole bunch of ways to make profiles and do different things that are similar to this. So here's another one that's for fuel pressure. So this is a real tight range right here. This is two and a half pounds that it's up and down. So he's within two and a half pounds, both directions on the G's. So on this, you can tell that your, your fuel pumps aren't starving. You're not having any fuel pressure issues or anything like that. So it's just a real like quick check that you can just see looking at it to see if there's anything else going on. I mean, you can dump into a channel report and you can see the max RPM that he hit. So he hit 7,812 on here. So there's just real quick things you can see. His max speed on this track, which we're at here at English Town, that's why you can hear the cars running by in the background, was 66 and a half on this lap. So basically it's just a, a real quick way that you can use data for other things besides mile per hour or just seeing your peak G-load in the corner. You can relate it to other sensors and all these sensors in particular plug in straight to the Link ECU and then we're just pulling the CAN data off the Link ECU.